What is race? Race is a confusing concept for a lot of people in the United States. Race means a lot of different things to different people. It's not scientifically based. When we think about race, we typically think about how it's measured in federal surveys, which is often based on skin color. But race is actually much more complex than that, and our perceptions about race are constantly changing. So why classify people by race? The race data that we collect in the census, for example, is used for lots of important purposes, such as enforcement of civil rights laws, and for monitoring racial ethnic disparities in health, education, and lots of other areas. The U.S. population is also undergoing rapid racial ethnic change, led by the growth of the Latino and Asian American populations. For demographers, it's important to keep track of these changes because some groups are faring better than others. So how do we measure race in the United States? In the 2010 census, people could choose from a series of boxes, so they could say that they were white, black, American Indian, or several other options. Those who identified with more than one race could select more than one box, and there were about 9 million people in 2010 who identified with multiple racial groups. There was also a separate question on Hispanic origin, where people could identify with a particular ethnicity, such as Mexican American. The census questionnaire has changed over time. In fact, the question about race has changed in nearly every census since 1790. Back in 1910, census takers would actually choose your race for you instead of allowing people to select their own race. Race means different things in different countries. So while there's a lot of countries that collect information about race in their national censuses, the questions are often very different from those in the United States. In Canada, for example, people are classified into three major groups, whites, aboriginals, and visible minorities. The way people view their own race can also change over their lifespan, and children may report their race differently at home and at school. This is especially true for children who identify with multiple racial groups. What does the future hold for racial classification? In 2020, the question on Hispanic origin may be combined on the census form. Our ideas about race will be further blurred by trends in intermarriage between groups. The way we think about race is certain to evolve over time, and race as we know it today could lose its meaning. 